everyone, in this video, we are going to learn how to run a simple linear regression using a JASP software. So on your screen, you can see a hypothetical data for the percentage of individuals who were able to get vaccinated in this column. And on the next column, you can see also another hypothetical data for the mortality rate that is related to COVID. So in the first column, you can see the regions 1 to 10. Again, uh, this is not a real data. It's hypothetical data to show only how to run a simple linear regression analysis using the JASP software. So remember that the JASP software cannot successfully import an Excel file. That is why you need to save your data in a .csv format file type. Okay, so for research, probably your first question here is, you would like to ask on the average vaccination rate. for the 10 regions. And for your next question, you are going to ask for the average mortality rate that is related to COVID. Your third question would ask on the significant influence of this variable, vaccination rate or percentage of vaccination, its significant influence on the variable mortality rate. So basically, our predictor variable here is the percentage or the vaccination rate and our dependent variable is the mortality rate that is related to COVID. Again, this is the welcome home of the JASP software. The newest version is JASP 0.14 and it is an open source project with a structural support from the University of Amsterdam. For us to successfully import our data, let us click first the three bars on the left side of the screen. This will be our portal of entry to import our data. Remember that is saved in a .csv format. So you click open and then you click computer and then you click browse. So remember where did you save your file? In my case, I saved my file in the desktop with a data file name, data regression and click open here, you can see that we have successfully imported our data set. So remember that the first question is the average vaccination rate or the average percentage of individuals who were vaccinated for regions 1 to 10. And the second question is the average mortality rate of individuals that is related to COVID for regions 1 to 10. So these two questions will be answered descriptively. So all you have to do is to add all the scores and you divide it by 10 since you have 10 regions and you also do the same for the mortality rate. The third question I phrased was, does vaccination rate significantly influence mortality rate? So for us to run the analysis or to answer that question, we will be doing a simple linear regression analysis. So why it is simple in your regression? Because we only have one predictor variable. So if you have one predictor variable and then you want to run regression and you have a continuous dependent variable, which is in this case a mortality rate measured in terms of percentage. So our statistical tool to be used is a simple linear regression analysis. So if simple linear regression analysis as compared to Pearson product moment correlation, uh, it has the capacity to forecast. Again, it has the potential to forecast given a set of a figure or given a sample figure for your predictor variable. So for us, for you to run the simple linear regression, you need to click regression. This is between the mixed models and the frequency buttons. Uh, instead of correlation, you click linear regression. So in this case, our independent variable is mortality rate. And our dependent, independent, or the predictor variable is the vaccination rate or percentage of individuals who were vaccinated. So in this case, we already have the answer. This is beautiful with this software because the moment you drag or you arrange your variables in the appropriate boxes, 
it will automatically analyze and the result is reflected on the right side of the screen. So you have here the result of the analysis. Okay, so let us copy this data. Okay, so let us now interpret the result of the analysis. The result shows here in your H1, which will be the basis of the interpretation for this uh, example, it shows that 0.931, this is the magnitude of the relationship of your predictor variable and the outcome variable, which is mortality rate. So our predictor variable vaccination rate and mortality rate has a very high relationship. So why it is very high? In our previous example, we discussed on the range of interpretation for Pearson product moment correlation that is also applicable for the interpretation of this figure. The next figure, you have the R square, which means that 86.7%. So you need to multiply this by 100 and it accounts that 86.7% in the variation of mortality rate can be attributed to vaccination rate. The next data or the next table here suggests that the relationship between your predictor variable and your outcome variable, which is mortality rate, your predictor is your vaccination rate, is statistically significant. So we have here a p-value of less than 0 0.05 that suggests that the relationship between vaccination rate and the outcome variable mortality rate is statistically significant. So for us to interpret this, let us first create our model. So for a simple linear regression having only one independent or predictor variable, your equation here is the constant minus, because the sign here is negative, B1, which is the unstandardized coefficient value for this predictor variable vaccination rate, times the predictor variable. So in this case, our constant is 2.343 minus the value of the unstandardized coefficient for this independent or predictor variable is 0 0.025. You multiply it by the vaccination rate. So where will we get this figure for vaccination rate? This is a sample figure. Depending on your example, when you simulate the data, you think of a vaccination rate example and then you can compute that one, the forecasted mortality rate, given this figure. Okay, so in this case, let us say we have in 80% of the population in that particular region were vaccinated. So in this case, our forecasted mortality is 0.343. So how did, how did we get this? 0 0.025 times 80, and the answer for this will be subtracted from 2.343. So the forecasted mortality rate given an 80% of vaccination rate is 0.343. And if you increase the percentage of vaccination by 1%, so from 80 to 81, the forecasted mortality rate is 0.318. So as you can see, if you are going to subtract 0 0.343 with 0 0.025, you are going to arrive on this figure, which is 0.318. This means that in every increase in the vaccination rate in the population, you are decreasing the percentage or the rate of mortality by 0 0.025. The question now, if this is statistically significant, that is why you have here the p-value, which is less than 0 0.05, and there it is confirmed that this decrease of mortality rate given an increase of a vaccination rate is statistically significant. Again, we ran a simple linear regression analysis using the JASP software. This is simple because we only have one independent or predictor variable and our dependent variable is mortality rate and is measured in a continuous scale.